Greetings once again. My name is John Gabriel, and this is the new Calculus channel. So this morning, I checked <clears throat> some of the drivel that was posted on my channel, and there was some smug moron who got on and asked, what problems, what mathematical problems have I solved? Well, this guy, first of all, is a, a insignificant nobody uh, who thought he, he had me cornered. But I'm going to give you just 10 reasons why I am the greatest mathematician and why I have solved and debunked many notions that, are, that were thought to be correct in the mainstream. So the first important accomplishment, which is worthy of at least one Nobel Prize, if not more, I produced the first rigorous formulation of calculus in human history. That means a calculus that contains no ill-formed concepts or bullshit like infinity, infinitesimals, or the circular rot of limit theory. Okay. And I give you a link to a free ebook there and also to a book you can purchase, which has a lot more information in it. That's right. I don't share that extra information. If you want to know it, you have to buy my book. Simple as that. Now, the second greatest accomplishment is that I discovered the Gabriel polynomial. And yes, I would call it Gabriel, you fucking morons. Do you think I'd name it after one of you idiots? <laughs> really? I mean, some clowns get on here and say, oh, you're narcissistic because you called it the Gabriel polynomial. What would I call it? The Andrew Wiles polynomial or the Terence Starr polynomial or the Gilbert Strang polynomial? None of those fucking idiots ever came close to discovering it. Why would I call it after them? I call it after myself because I'm a genius. It's a far more advanced concept than Taylor series. That, and the Gabriel polynomial is closed form and it has no error term. And it can be used all the way through multivariable calculus. It's intense stuff, which, to be quite frank, the best of you are fucking idiots and you won't get. So that's the second accomplishment. The third accomplishment. I shared my knowledge of trigonometric formulas, which I was a little reluctant to share, by the way. Closed form trigonometric formulas. I make Newton look like a retard with this article. Okay, I make Newton look like an int intellectually challenged individual. Because what I show you in this article, and it's free, by the way, you can actually download it on Academia, is something that none of your low IQ minds would think of, even in a thousand years, you're just too stupid for that. So that's accomplishment number three. Accomplishment number four, I was the first human to define the concept of number rigorously in human history. Okay. And I showed you how to do that in this article in one page. Don't come to me with Andrew Wiles' uh, solution of the Fermat problem. That hasn't even led to anything. It's not even important. It's totally insignificant and irrelevant. Nothing those mainstream baboons have done comes even close to what I've talked to you about so far. What have I solved, you fucking moron? Okay, here's another book that you can buy which is the ultimate book of numbers, okay? You can get that on Amazon. Number five, I explained the hidden and never before published knowledge of arithmetic operations, the four basic arithmetic operations without number. You know what that means, you fools? It means that the way you do arithmetic with fra fractions and with all numbers comes from geometry and being the genius that I am, I explain these things to you in this article. It's free. So go there, download it, and study it, you morons. Number six, I debunk the myth that numbers can be constructed from the anti-mathematical garbage of set theory and axioms. Here's another free article. Read it, study it. Number seven, I explained the reasons calculus actually works. Neither Newton nor, nor Leibniz knew why their calculus worked, why their, why their methods worked. They had no clue. They didn't even provide proof for them. Neither did the morons of the last 400 years who came before me. And I have identified the correct fundamental theorem of calculus. The mean value theorem is the fundamental theorem of calculus. Number eight, I debunked this 
crappy notion, which is the basis of all mainstream mathematics, uh, on which mainstream mathematics stands and falls. S is equal to lim s. This, this sewer concept that came out of Leonard Euler's Re Leonard Euler's Elements of Algebra, and that alone just destroys everything you have in terms of your concept, your delusional concept of real number, and the fact that it cannot be well formed. Number nine, I revealed six simple reasons why limit theory is flawed, fundamentally flawed. Also another free article. Number 10, I published a prologue for the revised elements. Revised elements are not complete yet. It's, it's a work in progress, but the prologue is something that sh should have been written by Euclid and the ancient Greeks. And I've done it for you. Now, I've given you just 10 accomplishments which no mainstream mathematic, mathematic, mathematics academic or so-called mathematician in human history has been able to accomplish. That makes me pretty great. Besides that, I have debunked many more ideas in mainstream mathematics, and I've called out many pedagogical misconceptions and malpractices. So look, next time you think, oh, what problems have you solved, you fucking moron? Just resist the urge to get on your keyboard and pound away like an idiot. Because you're not impressing me at all. You're just showing what a smug, moronic, outright turd that you are. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like on my channel. Become a follower on Academia. And if you want to get the scope on more uh, juicy details on stuff that I don't share with the public, then you can join my members only channel for four euros and 99 cents per month and you'll learn a whole lot more that you could never even dream of even if you could live for thousands of years that's pretty much it i'm john gabriel this is a new calculus channel till next time goodbye